what we have here is a uh, a little fix for a common problem with clutch pedal free play and it plagues the Dodges and probably Fords and Chevrolets too so I've seen some things written on some blogs but there was no videos of the uh, repair so I thought I would put one out here um, to help people uh, do a little simple fix that vastly improves your shifting and uh, clutch disengagement. Thanks for watching. One of the problems with these old Dodges, this one here, being 25 years old, several hundred thousand miles, there's lots of clutch free play and so by the time that you actually uh, take up all the slack from the worn bushings and the worn linkage and the worn pin on the clutch pedal, uh, there's, no, there's no travel left to push your master cylinder so you end up having uh, what some folks would refer to as notchy shifting. You're catching those gears just a little bit. So I just put a new clutch in so it, and that exacerbated the problem a little bit. So we're going to uh, pull all this out and see if we can't make some bushings and uh, make some better linkage, uh, cobble something together that it actually removes this free play and gives us a lot better shifting and uh, you don't have to push it all the way to the floor to, to disengage the cut clutch so that's what we're going to work on this week so i don't know it's hard to see from this angle uh, but you can see the excessive free play up there and that's the linkage we have to disconnect so that's where we'll start and see where we end up all right i got the clutch pedal out really didn't take that much doing Maybe about 20 minutes, so just a 3 8 bolt that holds that big rod there. And you slide that out. Um, and I have the, uh, the bushings pushed out of the, the uh, clutch pedal just for an example of how the stack up is. And you have this piece here that uh, attaches the bolt which goes through the brake pedal as well as the clutch pedal. And that holds the whole thing together. Uh, but I had in excess of uh, 90 thousandths free play on my pedal uh, So the bushings are just completely worn out and now I got to see uh, if I can find some they don't make them anymore So I'm gonna see if I can find some bushings or ream some that'll actually work Here are the uh, two pins uh, the the old clutch rod assembly on the top uh, that had a plastic bushing in it versus the bottom one which has the rod in it's movable it's close tolerance and adjustable mainly it's very nice I machined the uh, rod out of a six inch bolt that fit the rod in with simple hand tools and uh, then that's the one we're going to install so it, it it should give us plenty of adjustment I cut it about an eighth of an inch longer than the original to give a little extra additional adjustment so this should be a great fix and then we'll uh, move, move on and install it after we get the pin knocked out and uh, replaced. Okay, now what we've got here is I've ground the back side of that pin off and I'm going to attempt to drive it out of the, the uh, clutch pedal assembly and then we'll uh, put in our new fitting for the new uh, setup we have. Okay, going. I have uh, removed the old pin. I've rebushed the hole, uh, installed a new pin, um, which I've uh, maybe you can see I've welded on the back side there. So we should be good to go to accept the uh, new setup that I have for it. This rod end that will be sweet and much better than the wore out junk I had in there. And all we have left is the uh, to rebush the uh, holes for the uh, main support rod and uh, we'll put it back together. Um, I have the uh, rod end was a uh, Napa rod end. I don't know if you can see the part number there. I think it's 732, 1129 uh, spherical rod end. But that's, uh, that's what I'm going to use to give it a lot. It, it should be a lot better than what we had previously. Now I've gotten it put back together. And uh, wow, it's awesome. There's virtually no free play. Maybe a quarter of an inch before you actually... Uh, start moving so it, it's it took the vast majority of the free play out of this clutch it's a great fix 
I'm going to try to get under here and show you the actual install of the rod in, but apologize if I make you drunk. There you can see the rod in installed, and uh, I've adjusted it. You can lock it down. It's very nice to have that adjustment. Should be a factory install, but there it is. Just as a footnote here on the big bushings, the uh, hold down for the uh, rod clutch pedal, the rod assembly. Uh, I ended up buying those. There was a guy on eBay that actually sells the Delrin bushings, the good ones. And so I ended up buying them that rather than making them. They work great. And in, in addition with the uh, rod end setup that we fabricated up for it, the whole setup shifts, runs, drives beautifully, probably better than it did since new. So it's really a great fix. Thanks for watching.